How's it going, Matt? This is just a quick response to your GPU, GPU performance um, in Lightroom. Uh, I just wanted to follow up with a quick reply uh, regarding my uh, 4K comments, uh, mainly with performance and some things that I like about the new GPU acceleration and some of the things that I don't like about GPU acceleration, especially with the high-resolution panels. Uh, for instance, as you can see, my system Definitely performance should not be an issue. Uh, 5960X, you know, 8 core, 16 threads, overclocked, 4.2 gigahertz, uh, 32 gigs of memory. Um, operating system is on a 128 gig SSD. Um, all my working files for this example are on a 500 gig SSD scratch drive. Um, all of my one-to-one -one previews are pre-rendered one-to-one. So really, should, there should be no issues with any of that stuff. So hopefully, I can give you some examples right here. Let's see. So open up Photoshop again. I think I'll be in the library module here, and you can see everything's very fast when you uh, use everything in uh, when you're viewing images in the library module. For instance, if I go through, everything is 100% crystal clear all the way through. Um, this is a shoot that I did just recently. Now what I don't like about GPU acceleration, because I do have GPU acceleration enabled, let's move over to the develop module. Now if you'll notice, I was kind of talking about like the blurriness and how when you're transitioning between picture to picture, even though all my previews are built one-to-one, -one, it seems to have some kind of weird lag and it's kind of annoying. Um, honestly, I don't know. I think it might be just a driver issue. I don't know if it has to do with uh, Lightroom or a driver issue on the NVIDIA side. But check out as I scroll through a picture, you can kind of see like the color shift goes blurry takes several seconds to even go back into focus um, and all of these previews are built um, beforehand uh, so they're all there and even if I go back to the same one you know sometimes it's a little faster than others but other times it's not now when it comes to the performance as you talked about in your video you know I experience all the same things great performance you know exposure fast maybe slightly slower than yours on the 4k but still very very responsive um, you know, like cropping and stuff like that, still very responsive, maybe slightly slower, uh, but all pretty dang good, um, especially compared to with it off. But the biggest thing I don't like about GPU acceleration on the higher res 4K monitors is one issue, and it has to do with scrolling back and forth between images, especially when I'm waiting for it, and I think I see it. I think I get an idea of what I want to change, and then all of a sudden it changes again, like the color shift. How it kind of does that right there. You kind of go fast. It's like none of these pictures as I'm scrolling are even clear. And then it's even worse if I start making more changes and more changes. Um, it even takes longer sometimes, especially as I start making like a lot of changes. So it can kind of be kind of annoying sometimes. But again, let me go back to the library module. And I mean, everything's perfectly clear, perfectly sharp, very fast kind of interesting. Um, now let me just give you an example of with GPU acceleration turned off. We go back to the develop module. Now the reason I like not using GPU acceleration is honestly just mainly because uh, the pictures are sharper much faster especially after the one-to-one -one previews are built. Some things actually are a little bit slower but uh, there's no color shift. The pictures don't go blurry. Um, now, as I start making a little more changes, it might get a little bit worse, but, you know, not too much worse. Uh, sometimes, as I think you mentioned in your video, sometimes I'll even edit, um, you know, even kind of uh, in a smaller screen, kind of mimic, uh, you know, 1920 by 1080 resolution, which just kind of depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, but I'm curious just to see, to compare to yours. As I start messing with some changes, as you can see, uh, some GPU utilization right here. I start changing some things. Uh, you can kind of see some usage there. Um, same with like cropping, you know, so I see kind of the same things. Definite uh, GPU utilization works well. But just the biggest thing that I don't like is as I'm scrolling through my images, they kind of go blurry. And as you can kind of see, it still does the color shift even if uh, you have a smaller screen. So I don't know if it's a 4K thing or just a driver thing. 
um, on the NVIDIA part because as you can see my screen is much smaller here, my window is, and it's still doing that goofy kind of color shift, you know. Hopefully that kind of helps. I just wanted to kind of give uh, an example of that and hopefully that's something that can be fixed on either Lightroom side or Adobe side or uh, NVIDIA side. Uh, but hopefully that gives you some kind of idea of what I was seeing and not liking uh, using GPU utilization um, in Lightroom CC. And also, uh, what is it, 616, I think. Lightroom just did a new update like the other day. Um, so I, and it didn't seem to make it any better. So I uh, just wanted to give you an update. Thanks.